Hi everyone, today we're talking about the five a day incentive and the way we try and encourage people to eat more vegetables and fresh fruit. Now I can see it two ways, the good and the bad. Uh, the good thing is what it does is a starting point for people. For someone like myself that goes to the gym regularly and always do, then for me five a day is very low. And the government are saying now that in reality for people to get the benefits from this five is way, way too low. But if we look at the amount of people that are in uh, Great Britain and, and probably around the world as well, most people just don't eat enough anyway. Um, that's the bottom line. But when you put a number on it and you say five a day, the bad news is that some people say, well, I've had my five, I don't need any more. Or I'll get it from potatoes, so fries count. Things like that. So people just talk, try and twist it to suit their needs. Now, it is a low number. So we do need to encourage people to do it more. But you've got to also remember that the majority of people don't go to the gym and the majority of people don't exercise anyway. So I think there's a bigger problem that's not just fruit and vegetables, it's the whole activity and lifestyle change that we need to really embrace first. So yes, eat more fruit and vegetable. Five, forget about that, just, just eat more of it. Um, the other thing that people do obviously when they take it too far is they, they pick what they consider part of that five a day. I remember going to somewhere recently and there was a cookie, and it was an oatmeal cookie with raisins. It said one of your five a day and it had a glass of concentrate orange juice, one of your five a day. Now, I wouldn't give that to someone as one of my five a day. I wouldn't, you wouldn't give that to you anyway on any type of program. So I wouldn't consider that part of it, but that's me at my level of knowledge. Now, if you were someone that just lives on fast food and processed food, would it be a good starting point? Of course it would. But what we need to consider is what's a good source of our five a day, and are we getting enough of them, and are we rotating it as well? Because it's quite easy for us to go to the supermarket and say, I'll just buy five of everything and then just take that to work every day. And that's not really the best way of doing things, because then what happens is you get stuck in that, in that rut of eating the same foods at the same time every day, and then we're gonna struggle with the amount of nutrients we're getting from a variety of foods. So does the five a day work? I don't know, I don't know the figures from a government level, but what I do see from my level is that people that do go to the gym still don't do it. So the people that don't go to the gym are certainly not following it, so we still need to get more people recognizing the importance of vegetables and eating fruits. fruits. So I'm really on the fence with it. I think it's a good strategy and incentive, but it needs to be enforced more. Um, we've seen in schools it's improved, but now we need to start taking more action with people in the offices and people that are going and choosing to go and eat at McDonald's and Burger King and KFC on their lunch breaks. So is it, is it working? Who knows? But what I do know is you need a lot more than five. When you get to five, don't stop, okay? And try and do it every day on a consistent basis. Try and create a habit and try and be consistent with that habit.